In this tutorial series, we're going to build a Flash Asteroids game. I'm going to attempt to walk you through the process in stages, one step at a time. So, in the end, our finished version will look something like this. I'll just show you the game really quickly. Hit begin, and you can see the asteroids fly around, and you can fly your spaceship and shoot the asteroids, and they break into smaller pieces. And if you crash into the asteroids, you die. So for stage one, we're going to take it to this level right here, where we're just going to build our ship. We're also going to build the asteroid graphic, and we're going to do the flying controls to make our spaceship able to fly around the screen, exit the top, let's say, and come out the bottom, and maybe exit the left and come in the right. And so this will be stage one of our game. So let's get started. I've opened a new Flash file, and you're going to want to open a file new and make sure that when you open it, it's an ActionScript 2 file because we're going to be building this game in ActionScript 2. And once you have your ActionScript 2 file open up, I also want to point out something else. I'm using Window here, Workspace, and I like to put it in Classic mode. So I'm in Classic mode here, and you can see here that I have my toolbar on the left, my timeline is at the top, Property Windows on the right, and I've popped out my ActionScript window here too. Uh, to get to your action script window, you just open Window Actions, or F9 on your keyboard. Now let's set up some basic settings for our game. I'm going to use the black selection tool, click on the stage here, and I want to change the stage color from white to black, so I'm going to go over here to Stage, the Property window, and this color chip, I'm going to select it and change it to black. Now we're going to be building some graphics so I'm going to check, change the um, stroke on the uh, toolbar over here to a green color because we're going to be using green. And then the fill color I'm going to change to a gray for right now. And we'll be using those in a second. Now, for the size of the movie, if I go back over here to the property window, we're going to keep the 550 by 400 size, just the default size. But I'm going to change the frames per second to 65. So I'm going to select in here, type in 65 and hit enter. So our frames per second will be at 65 frames per second. Now we should have one keyframe, and yours would be empty here. You should see an empty keyframe, but I've actually already put in some code here. So I'll select this keyframe, open it up, and you can see I've pasted in the game code that we're going to be writing one line at a time, and I'll just copy and paste the code and walk you through it one step at a time. But before we do that, we want to build our game graphics. So for building our game graphics, what I want to do is, is I want to zoom in. I'll get my zoom tool, and I'm going to zoom in, and I'll get a line tool here. Notice the line tool. And we're going to start off by building our uh, ship. And I want the ship to be facing right. So that's important. Let's have the ship facing right. I don't care how you draw your ship out. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to build a very simple asteroids style spaceship though. Okay, so I'm just clicking and then closing. Now, it's easier if you have snap on. So if you go to view, snapping, and you have snap align, and snap to pixels and snap to objects, that's helpful. Now I can get my pointer tool here, my selection tool, and I can actually approach these corners, these vertices, and I can drag and rearrange how things line up. All right, and that looks pretty decent for now. If I want to be very specific, I can go to View, Rulers, and I can drag a ruler out to make sure that everything lines up according to how I want it lined up. And you can see there, that's pretty darn good. So I'll just grab this corner, and that looks good. I'll put these rulers back, and I'll put this ruler back. And now that I have my ship right here, I'm going to zoom back out to 100% to check the size. So I'll go back to 100%, and that looks like a pretty good size. I actually probably want it a little bit smaller. So to make it slightly smaller, I could um, select it, and then go over here to this window here. And you can see here there's the transform panel. I will lock, make sure to lock both of those, and transform it to, let's say, 90% and hit enter and that should make it a little bit smaller. Now that it's a little bit smaller, what I want to do is highlight it. I've got the black selection arrow. 
click and drag, highlight the whole thing, and then modify, convert to symbol, and it's going to be a movie clip. So I've got to change this to movie clip. I want the registration point in the center, a little black box in the center, and the symbol name is going to be, yours might look like this. If you want to, you can expand this so you can see the advanced options. The name of the movie clip will be MC-SHIP, and then I'm going to export this. I want to set up my linkage, so I'll select Export for Action Script. Once again, this has to be enabled, the Advanced tab has to be open. Export for Action Script, Export in Frame 1, and I'm going to change the linkage identifier from MC-SHIP to just SHIP. And I'll click OK. So now I have my SHIP. Once you have your SHIP finished, what I want you to do is select it once, highlight it, notice the registration point in the center, and what I want you to do is just delete it. So I'll press the Delete key, and now it's gone. If I go into my library though, there is my ship in the library. If I right click on it and go to properties, you can see that I have the linkage identifier ship. So we're going to be placing this spaceship from the library onto the stage using the game code. So we won't start off with the ship on the stage. Next, let's build uh, the asteroid. So the asteroid is going to be similar. I'm going to get the line tool and I'm just going to click and drag and click and drag and I'm just going to build a asteroid shaped rock here. Okay, and when you're done what you can do is you can grab once again with the selection tool if this is deselected you can then modify these vertices to get it more into an appropriate uh, shape, semi-circular shape it's probably the best. So I'm kind of clicking and dragging the vector vertices, and that's pretty big. So I need to make this smaller. I'll select it. This time I'll use the transform tool and then hold down the shift key and make it a bit smaller. That seems to be about the right size, maybe a little bit smaller. All right, that's good for right now. If you want to get rid of some of these vertices, you can. That's up to you. Um, for instance, I could drag one vertice over to another and es essentially remove it. We're not going to be dealing with it right too much this in this video, so we don't want to waste too much time on it. Make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to get my paint bucket and fill it with this gray color in the center. Eventually, what we're going to do is make that a little bit darker. Maybe I'll make it darker now and eventually what we'll do is actually fill it black. But for right now I want gray in the center just to realize that this is filled. And eventually I'll fill it black. Let's highlight the whole thing, modify, convert to symbol, it's a movie clip, center point registration, MC-asteroid, and then the linkage name will be asteroid. Click OK, and then delete it from your stage and now you should have two objects inside of your library MC-Asteroid with a linkage name Asteroid and MC-Ship with a linkage identifier just ship. Alright, and now we're ready to start coding to make our ship move around on the stage. I'm going to save my file 